Part 2. Crimson Flower. Lone Moon. Lady of Deceit. After a narrow victory over the Knights of Saros at Garrig Mach, the Black Eagle Strike Force hopes to secure a route to Ferdiad, the Kingdom Capital. The time has finally come to invade the Kingdom Capital. Or so I declared. In truth, we'll be advancing to a different location. Only you and the rest of the Black Eagle Strike Force can know. Please bear that in mind. Well, that's interesting. What's the plan? There is another location we must take before moving on to Ferdiad. South of the capital, there is a fortress city on the border of the Empire and the Kingdom. It is called Aryan Road, and we must take control of it at once. There are many mages within Aryan Road. We will also face Cornelia, a general of the Kingdom. We must also contend with Rodri, the head of House Raldarius, as well as his troops. Once we defeat them, Aryan Road will be ours. I hear Cornelia has a suspicious magic weapon at her disposal. We must attack before the enemy can respond with defensive measures. That is why we are preparing an assault before even our allies are aware. Even within our ranks, there is no way to know with certainty that there is not a rat among us who would leak such information. When Aryan Road falls, we'll focus on striking Ferdiad from both the south and the east. The deeper we carve our way into kingdom and church territory, the more favorable our position. As ever, I'm counting on you, my teacher. Well, that's interesting because, uh, oh, what do you know? St. Indic Day. But, uh, Cornelia was an enemy in the kingdom story as well in that version she was uh she kind of seized power uh and got herself insult installed of as like the new duchess of fargus or something like that and and she did so with uh with the backing of the Empire. Here, she's still, uh... Part of the Kingdom. Interesting. Let's do the recital. Just for the hell of it. It's free. It's hard to sneak out when the Professor is watching. I almost forgot how to say. Oh, I'm so glad Yuritsa was here for this. getting it this experience is critical oh, hey I'll take that oh Yuritsa's birthday I've been skipping all the birthdays lately but we got to have a tea party with Yuritsa um, let's see he's got a sweet tooth so uh, let's try the uh, the honeyed fruit blend what do you want? Beautiful. What a fine fragrance. Thank you. It's hot. Wow. All right. Chat him up. Um, capable comrades. Yeah, of course he would like that. Uh, cats. I believe he's into cats. Wow. Yeah, Constance mentioned that in support conversation. Uh, yes. What else we got? Oh, favorite sweets, of wow. course. Sitting here 
reminds me of... Uh, but that was long ago. Oh, there's that tortured soul. Um, let's just sip some tea. Of course. Because of course he doesn't want to get into it. He wants me to uh, leave that be. If you have something to say, just say it. You're strange. Ah, uh, beautiful. Let's give him something nice. Uh, give him a whetstone. Probably enjoys maintaining his weapons. My gratitude. He does. Okay, that's it. Thank you. Well, that was fun. I suppose. Ah. Edelgard has gotten promoted. With this power, I will cut my own path. Yeah, she will. All right. Let's go see what everyone has to say. And his heirloom. Professor? Greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. Between Garrig Mach and Ferdiad stretch the plains of Teotin. That's the site of the ancient battle where Nemesis, the King of Liberation, fought the prophet Seros. If our forces end up fighting our enemies there, it'll be a clash passed down through the ages. Yeah, it makes sense. Dimitri, the king of Fargus. He despises Edelgard and everything she stands for. I am of the opinion that a man seized by such strong feelings is not fit to be king. It is a sad situation, really. Uh, things can't be emotional? No, they cannot. Kingly judgment has to be wholly separate from the emotions of the individual. At any rate, I find it hard to imagine that Dimitri could defeat Edelgard. Well, that's true. Uh, Ferdinand does have a point there. Just generally speaking. There's the heirloom, which is uh, her wealth, apparently. They spy someone over here. Last month's fight with the Knights of Saros was a disaster. Well, you seem oh, fine. Yeah. I never believed in Saros. And my old colleagues are now just enemies. Sometimes it's easier to get by without any personal attachment or religious beliefs. Right. Uh, we may have won our side of the battle, but... Uh, Catherine and Rhea and the Knights of Saros kind of... Uh, kind of routed... Our forces. Anyway, in Fargus, there's an amazing knight of House Roe they call the Grey Lion. I heard about him from Lenato, who was an acquaintance of his. Apparently, he's getting old, but with each year that passes, he only hones his skills even more. Yeah, we've met him before. I've been informed of the surprise attack. That information could be devastating were the enemy to find out. It moves me to know I've been trusted with it. Edelgard and those within the army, they really do trust me. Initially, I had my own motives for joining the Black Eagle Strike Force. But now, all I want is to support Edelgard. All right. Uh... Zoom out a little bit. Work. 
Don't you think this plan to use the entire army for a surprise attack is a bit, I don't know, cowardly? Sorry, the word just kind of slipped out. <laughs> Maybe don't tell Edelgard or Hubert I said that. No matter the target or strategy, I'll do my job. Well, it is uh, deceptive. Probably why this chapter is called Lady of Deceit. Uh, let's see. Petra's up that way? Alright. Professor, I have excitement in my heart for secret tactics. I enjoy attacks that are surprising. Oh, is it because it's like hunting? It feels like feeding a stereotype. Yes. Hunting is doing surprise attacks on prey. Surprise attacks are safe with friends. Fewer injuries. That is a wonderful thing. I have no liking for the thought of losing anyone. Oh, all right. Uh, she made a fair case, I think. Who's over here? Hey, Raphael. Next up is the kingdom's capital. We're coming for you. What's wrong? Was that too much? Maybe it was too dramatic. Or I didn't yell it loud enough. Never change, Raphael. You're the greatest. Saros. They certainly know how to inflict pain. However, the demon within me will be satiated only by fighting with you. Thanks, Yuritsa. Valuable input. Uh, oh, yeah, I guess we'll talk to Flesh. She did lose her, her brother. My brother fought proudly to the end and died an honorable death. He said something to me before the battle, that he was entrusting his dream to me. I'm going to see this battle through to the end. I'm going to fight for my brother. I never thought this day would come, that I'd fight my homeland. My betrothed was a knight who served the king. He died bravely to protect the future of our country. Now I'm betraying the place he fought to protect. I'm betraying him. But I must do this. Professor, I believe in the path you have chosen for us. That is an awful lot of faith that they're putting in me. I gotta say. Hey, Dorothea. Hi. Hi. I heard that Randolph died in battle guarding Garrick Mach. We knew each other for more than five years. My chest feels tight. Think about it. There's no end in sight to the fighting. I might be next. Any of us could be. Uh, we'll make it through together. Together, eh? <laughs> that sounds like one of Sylvain's old pickup lines. <laughs> but, yes. Let's get through this war together. Together. I like the sound of that. Um, all right, Ignat's in the reception hall. What do you got for me? Professor, soon we'll assault Ferdiat, the kingdom's capital. This will be one for the history books. Our enemy won't hold anything back. I'm quivering with excitement at the very thought of it. <laughs> you put on a good show, Ignat. <laughs> I appreciate the compliment. I was worried I was laying it on too thick. In any case, let's do our best. We're coming for you, Ferdiad. And so on. Ah, <laughs> uh, what a nerd. Okay. Yeah, let's make this uh, our stop for the. Since I allied with you and the Emperor. My resolve has never wavered. I abandon my country. 
I am prepared to kill my father and kill a man I once called my friend. Resolute as I am, my sword feels heavy. That's only natural, Felix. Yeah, while we're here, let's have our axe tournament. Seems unfair to put Edelgard in there, but, uh... Too late to stop. I just like when uh, she recovers the tiniest little scratch because of her crest. It's really not a fair fight. kind of forgot to let her appearance uh, switch to her new class, but oh well. What do you know, Edelgard won the, the Advanced Axe Tournament. Go figure. Do the counselor thing. I feel like I missed that last time. Uh, oh, that's Aloise. Yeah, answer the pun with a pun. Dear goddess, even though we're denying the doctrine and fighting the knights, I keep praying to the goddess. When I think about those who have fallen in battle, I... I have no choice but to pray. The goddess of the church may be a fallacy, but I'm sure she still exists in some form. I'm weak. I would be nothing without her. Aw, oh, Marianne. See, Sylvain is around here. Here he is. Some people are so in awe of King Dimitri, they call him the Tempest King. After he wins, there won't be anything left. He'll be a storm, leaving nothing behind. He hates the Empire so much, he's willing to do anything to bring it down. Uh, he wasn't like that before? No. Then again, maybe we just didn't actually know him at all. We'll be fighting Dimitri and his troops soon. We all ought to train a little harder if we want to stay alive. Probably a good idea. Wow, Edelgard in the dorm hall. Unusual. Professor, halt! Don't come in here. Hasn't this happened before? I thought I told you to forget about that. There's something I don't want you to see. Is it a portrait? So, you know about it. Yes, it's a portrait of you. I painted it myself. It's, uh, quite disgraceful. I did a terrible job with it, and it looks nothing like you. Oh, thank you, anyway. I'm happy that you appreciate my efforts, but please don't touch that door. Uh, alright. That was fun. Linhart, what you got cooking? There are stories of Hilo's relics a thousand years ago, of which we have no real evidence today. So many, in fact, that I'm led to wonder if those relics are nothing more than legends. Especially since we know of relics like those passed down in the families of the ten Fodlin elites. 
I wonder what he's talking about. I don't actually know. Maybe it's a reference to the DLC relics. How have we come to this? Fighting the Archbishop and her knights? I've never imagined. I hate this so much. Professor, I tried. I gave treatment to everyone I could, but, but lives were still lost. The infirmary is as much a morgue right now as it is a place of care and healing. All right, that's what of this? a bit heavy. For... There's a school of sorcery in Ferdiad, which is staffed by the top minds of magical research. The study of crests and sorcery should not be separate. I've often thought I should pay them a visit someday. I never imagined I might end up invading the place with an army, though. Not how I imagined it at all. Funny how life works out, isn't it, Hannerman? This was a trying month, but we did manage to hold Garrig Mark. If only just. Honestly, I did not expect such strident supporters of the Archbishop as Seteth and Flame to flee. But with this victory, we have all but cornered the Church of Seros and its knights. The goddess above shall give way to the darkness that has long dwelled below. <laughs> what an interesting thing to say, Hubert. The quest is just a... I don't know, it's not a supply run. I think it's the one to open up the the Dark Merchant. Oh, and it's both. Yeah, I've already done them. They're taken care of. Keep sending me to the Cardinal's room, even though clearly conversations are in the other chamber the uh common room i've got a dream you know i don't know if it'll come true but it's nice to hope remember when i went to bridget with petra i drew a picture of some of the flowers i saw there next time i want to go even farther maybe dagda maybe even past that i want to fill a whole book with drawings of the biggest plants i see and the carnivorous ones especially. Oh, I hope I get the chance. That, of course, is a reference to uh, the paralogue that Bernadetta and Petra have together. Uh, not seen in this playthrough. It's because that was back in the very first playthrough. It seems we will soon set foot in Ferdiad. I used to live there, you know. Though that was before my time in the Officer's Academy. Are you an exchange student or something? That's right. I was enrolled at the School of Magic there for a time. Trouble within the kingdom forced me to return to Alliance lands. There was much I had yet to learn. Alright. Guess that explains why he's kind of balanced uh, between strength and magic. Well, that was certainly frightening. Uh, what was this? Uh, the church? You're very perceptive, Professor. Having to fight against the Church of Seros was unnerving. To push back against something I've hanged so much of my life upon? I was terrified. But now we must fight Lady Rhea, and I won't back down. That's the spirit. Alright, I think I've talked to everyone above ground, which means... Oh, wait, who's Annette? What are you doing on the third floor? I used to live in the kingdom capital with my parents. I know we've got no choice but to fight the kingdom. But I really don't want Ferdiad to become a battlefield. Lots of my old friends still live in the city, and many people there were kind to me. If fighting breaks out there, all of those people might get caught up in it. It'll, it'll be fine, probably. 
maybe. I think we can check in at Abyss and uh, be done with it. Listen up. I've got something to report. As you know, I'm the anointed Alpha of Abyss. But this lady's been standing watch for a while. She can probably hear us talking even now. Yes, I can. I'm here by order of Lord Hubert. That is all I'm at liberty to reveal at present. Wow, impressive. You've really got a knack for this lady. Ever think of making this a full-time gig? I could use the company. I, I mean, the backup. My mission concludes at the end of the month. Deepest apologies. Oh my god, Abyss Keeper. He finally got that lady friend he was wanting. All this time. This can't be. So about this surprise attack. It's all over if the details leak, yeah? I know my shoulders are broad, but you sure you want to lay a secret like that on him? I'm no war hero. In fact, I'm a wanted man. If I were you, I wouldn't trust me with something that important. Uh, she trusts you, and so do I. Wait a minute. By she, do you mean Edelgard? Huh, I didn't know she had eyes for me. Huh. I just got a sudden chill. Like someone's got it out for me. It's not you, is it? Nah, you wouldn't. Your shoes are too goody. Birdie at it last. The very city where I struggled through school and mastered the art of spellcraft. So many memories are bound up there, and now it is to become a battlefield. I am a bit overwhelmed. Uh, wow. That's funnier. Let's go with that answer. With acting, that acting talent, you should be on stage. <laughs> I, I am quite the thespian, it's true. You, on the other hand, need to learn your cue. To fool the enemy, one must first deceive one's allies. The walls have ears, you know. Uh, she's getting all soon too on us. Of course. The church smiles warmly on all who pay reverence. But to five them, and well, that's another story. The way the Knights of Saros fight is cold blooded and ruthless. And for me, you get the implications. Uh, well, hmm. Is everyone in Abyss okay? Yeah, somehow. There are no good ways out of here, so we're lucky they never came through. So. Aryan Road next, huh? I've got some fond memories of that place. And happy. The bird said that we'll be facing someone I know in our next battle. The bird. The lady who captured me after I ran away from my village. Oh. I wonder if she remembers me. Hey, do you want to confront her? I'll hold her down. You punch. Honestly, I don't want to go anywhere near her. But if I have to. It won't be much different than any other fight. That's how it goes, right? If we want to end this war, we have to keep charging forward, no matter who's on the other side. All right. Uh, I think that just about covers it. Talked to everyone. Yeah. All right. Good monastery session.